I have a Qualtrics survey here, and I want to show you how you can set up an email trigger so that when people fill in this survey, if they select yes, they would like to get a response, that they will get an email with their responses. So once you have your survey set up, you'll go to Tools, Triggers, and Email Triggers. This is how you set all this up. And a empty trigger will open. So I'm going to start by adding some text to this. I'm going to say dear and then I want to add their name in so we'll do that and then I'll say here are your responses and the easiest thing you can do is if you scroll down when you check the box include response report it will include all the questions and all the answers in your message. If you have any long questions it will truncate them unless you select show full question text. Now let's say that I want to add this name of the person. Since I asked a question name, I can actually pull that whatever they fill in for name in the tool called Piped Text. And that's going to be this little A button with the curly brackets. I'm going to select that and then I want the information from one of the questions. So I'll choose survey question. I want their name. So I'll choose the question that was name. And I don't want the question text. I want the answer. So I'll select on name to get the answer and I get this um, content here which is going to populate with whatever they enter in the name field when they submit the survey. Now I don't want this to go to uh, anyone except for the person who requested this email so I need to get the piped text for the submitter's email address and I can't add it directly to the to field but I can add it to the body and then cut it and paste it there. So I'll click again on the piped text icon, choose survey question and this time I want to get the content from the question that asks email address and I'll choose email address and then I will select this and right click to cut it from here and right click to paste it into the email address field. Once I've sent this up, if I save it as is, everyone who submits the survey will receive a, this email with their responses. But at the top, I can click to add a condition and I can say only send to the people who request it. So if I click add a condition, there's several ways I can add conditions. We'll use the question option and I want to use the question that asks them if they'd like to get a copy of their responses. So I'll select that and then I'll select the option I want and it's yes. And I want to do when yes is selected. When I save this, we'll see that the email will be sent. <clears throat> so I'm going to go into preview survey so I can fill this out. So I went ahead to my email and I can see that I got the email with my responses because I said that I wanted to. And it has the name I entered as well as all of the questions and answers as I submitted them. So check out email triggers. They're a really easy tool to use, but very powerful. You'll go to tools, triggers, and email triggers. This is how you set all this up.